Lesson 2, Life as an Artist. Alinga Joshua Shriman Timma. A Tabike Mima Sapwe is a classical dance drama. It usually begins with the candlelight dance followed by different types of dance. Mima Opera and Selected Comedy. This is followed by the classical dance drama, which presses one of the Chataka days. The 550 stories of Lord Bolter's earlier lives. It imposed moral lessons. One of the greatest artists of Myanmar is Alinga Joshua Sriman Timma. Mount Mau was born to Ubia and Domi in 1918 in Mandalay. He had nine siblings and he was the youngest. Since childhood, Mount Mau had been passionate about singing and dancing. His first step to Zabwe was dancing at a puppet show when he was very young. Later, he learned the performing arts from Mia Cheche Mangui Mia for three years. He founded Sri Mantabi in 1933 and became a famous artist known as Sri Mantima. In 1959, Sri Mantima was invited to the United States of America as a representative of the Myanmar cultural troupe. During his visit, he learned by heart the 27 buses on the Bogdas renunciation. His diligence and hard work set a model for new generations of Myanmar artists to emulate. Moreover, Shiman Deman was dedicated to his art and always held his audience in respect. Although he was very famous, he was modest. In addition, he was very imaginative and creative. For necessary, he used pet trucks and post art his try to bring out the best effect. He also encouraged competition among male dancers in order to bring out the best in grace and style. His new style of the duet time was very popular at that time. Throughout his life as an artist, he kept on innovating nova choreography and new operas. In 1953, Shimon Demar received the title Alinka Chosa, which is a watch outstanding artist in Myanmar. In 1969, Shimon Demar died while dancing on the street. His name will never fade away. He remains a historic artist of Myanmar. Thank you.